Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a fall makeup tutorial over the look that I'm wearing right now which is a really pretty olive green eye look with a hint of orange and some mustard yellow. I did post this picture on Instagram maybe like over a month or two ago. I'm not really sure when it was but I got so many compliments and so many people asking for a tutorial. So here it is finally. I feel like I'm always the last one on the train for like fall makeup looks. It's like by the time I actually get around to them it's winter. Also elephant in the room because I'm sure you guys will notice I'm kind of under the weather throughout the video. I did have my wisdom teeth removed and I can barely open my mouth. I can barely smile and I'm not feeling too great right now. I'm actually not really sure why I'm even filming today and I'm on some pain medicine and it makes me really loopy and hard to focus and I'm like like this is what's going on in my brain right now. So yeah if you guys want to see I get this really pretty fall olive green eye look then please keep watching. So I'm gonna be using two different palettes from IK House. These are the Kara Cosmetics 35 color eyeshadow palettes. I have the ES07 and the ES06. So you could totally get away with just using one of these palettes. If you wanted to, you could just use the 07 palette, which is this one right here. Look at how pretty those shades are. So yeah, this is the main one that we're gonna be using, but I will be going into the 06 just a little bit. There are just a few shades in here that I may pull into. So I've already done my eyebrows and I've also primed my eyes and I've set my eye primer with a skin tone colored eyeshadow. I just used this one right here in the palette. This is the ES07. I'm just gonna call it the 07 and 06 palette. First thing I'm gonna do is go in with a mustard yellow for my crease. So I'm gonna take this one right here in the 07 palette. This is at the top. So I'm just gonna put this in the upper crease pretty close to the brow bone and I'm just going to diffuse that. I want this to be really soft. And if you find that you've gone in with too much and it's just too heavy, you can go in with one of those matte skin tone colored eyeshadows and just put that right on top and that will lighten it. Okay, so this next step is completely optional. I'm going to go into the ES06 and I like to build up that mustard yellow just a little bit just to make it a little bit more dimensional and since the 07 palette only has one, you can't really do that. but you totally can stop there. Like you don't have to worry about getting two palettes just to create this look. But I'm gonna go into the 06 palette and take this mustard yellow right here. It's just a little bit deeper than the one in the 07. So here's the 07 and then here is the one that we're gonna go in with. So it's just a little bit deeper. It's like a marigold. I'm just being extra. So I'm just gonna put that in the upper crease too but just keeping it lower than that top shade because I want this to be a transition. So we're, we're starting out lighter and then going darker and darker in the crease. And also I'm not pulling at my eye, I'm not tugging or anything. I'm literally just anchoring my finger down and just holding that skin taut. No wrinkles are being made people, so calm your tits. So now moving on to some orange shades. So my vision for this is that I just want the orange to kind of peek out. Like when your eyes are open, I just want it to kind of peek out in the crease a little bit, but still keeping it below the mustard yellow. You just have to be really precise and just really careful. So going back into the 07, the main palette, I'm gonna take this really vibrant, matte orange right here. Just get a very little amount on your brush and I'm just going to put this like kind of like raise your eyebrow so that your eyelids are stretched out. Just put this in the upper crease but just start out with a small amount and build it up to the intensity that you want. Oh it's so hot in here. So I'm just going to go in with my first crease brush with no extra product and if you have to you can apply some more of that mustard yellow in there just to kind of I don't know, re-intensify it. Okay, so moving on to the olive green shades. And I got my olive green shirt on to match it. So I think I'm gonna use this olive green in the 06. I hate to do that because it's just one shade in the 06. And you could also use any of these olive green shades in the 07 palette. But this one's just a really good like starter olive shade because it's not too dark and it's not too light. It's just a good one to start out with. So I'm just gonna start putting this in the outer V, kind of dragging it through the socket just a little bit and it doesn't really matter how far you bring this inward because we're going to be covering it up anyway. So now let's go with a darker olive green. So now I'm going to go into, let's go into this one right here in the 07 palette. This is an olive green but it's got more green to it. This is also matte. Again just building up everything in the outer V. This hair, it's going up. It's too hot for this. Okay, so then I'm going to go in with this one right here in the 07. This is a matte tealish green. It's like a really, really deep teal. And it's barely going to show up, but it's just going to add a hint of blue in there just to kind of like accentuate the fact that I have blue eyes. So I'm just going to lightly put this in the very outer V. I'm just going to tap it in there kind of. And then I'm going to go back in with that first olive green shade we used in the 06 palette and just touch up 
right here where we didn't really put any product in the center because this is going to act as our base we just kind of diffuse everything into like the nothingness like going inward i feel like i'm not making any sense whatsoever god drugs i'm actually just going to go ahead and put that shade back all over what we just did just to kind of make it more green like more of that deeper olive green okay then we'll go into the 07 palette and take this shimmery olive green which i did mess it up and i had to fix it there's what that looks like it's a really pretty shade and then wet my brush so i want this to be more metallic -y. and then just put this from the inner corner to about the center of the lid and just kind of diffuse it and flick it into the other shades like the matte shades also look at my giant bruise from the iv look at that it's crazy huge okay so just to kind of olive green this up a little bit more just because i feel like this shade right here is a little bit too like it's too much of like a jade green. I'm gonna go into this shade right here in the 07 palette, which is more of like a deeper shimmery olive green and do the exact same thing. I'll wet my brush again and just put that right on top of what we just did. That's a problem with creating looks and not doing a tutorial like immediately after doing it. I automatically forget what I use like a day after. <laughs> I've got people commenting on videos that are like two and three years old asking me what I was wearing in the video and I'm like, Dude, that was like years ago. I don't know. So if you don't want to go in with that first shimmery green shade we used, you know, the one that was all jacked up, just use this one right here in the middle of the palette. But I still think the combination is really, really pretty. Like it just makes it more dimensional and I really do like it. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back in with that brush that I used for the outer V shades. It has like 15 different shades on it. And with whatever's left, just gonna like flick the brush towards the shimmery shade in the middle just to diffuse and soften that harsh line i don't want it to be like bam matte bam shimmer <laughs> okay so i'm gonna go ahead and do my lower lash line usually i don't want to do this until after my face makeup but i just want to be able to go off camera and do all of it and then come back and be completely done so i don't want this to be too olive green like i don't want this to be too monochromatic so what i'm gonna do is go in with a dark brown so in the 07 palette i'm gonna go into the bottom shade right here this is like a dark matte chocolatey brown so i'm just gonna smudge this along the bottom and i wanted something more warm for the lower lash line just to kind of coordinate with the warmth in the crease i can't i can't talk <laughs> and then i'm gonna take a smudger brush this little tiny pencil brush and just smudge all that out for my brow bone highlight the 07 palette doesn't really have a, a huge selection of matte skin tone colored eyeshadows like these right here would work this is what i used to set my eye primer but it's just not brightening enough but i'm gonna go back into the 06 palette this one has a better selection of lighter skin tone colored eyeshadows so i'm just gonna mix these two right here together and put that on my brow bone what i love about the brow bone highlight is that if you made any mistakes it just really cleans everything up and just kind of like sharpens everything and then go in with my crease brush just to make sure we didn't brow bone highlight too much <laughs> So going back into the 07, I'm gonna take this really pretty shimmery champagne right there and put that in my inner corner. Actually, just to intensify it, I'm gonna wet it. Ooh, there we go. So I'm gonna go off camera and finish up my eyes with some liner and mascara, and I'm gonna do the rest of my face and my lips, and I'll come back and show you guys the finished look. Okay guys, so here is the finished look, and I will have all the products that I used in the description box below, so make sure you check down there. And I just absolutely love the way this looks. I think this is so pretty for fall, so pretty for the holidays, and I feel like this is gonna be very complimentary on a lot of different skin tones and also eye colors. So if you guys decide to recreate this look, please tag me or share the picture with me wherever you decide to post it. I'm just so, so happy with how this look turned out. I think it's perfect for fall i mean this is literally the epitome of a fall eyeshadow look and i also think it's really pretty for the holidays especially thanksgiving also happy thanksgiving guys i hope you guys have a great one and a very blessed one and i will see you guys in my next video so thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today thumbs up if you like this video subscribe follow me on my social media all the links are below as well as all the products i use today and i hope you guys have a beautiful day and a happy thanksgiving Mwah.